There was once an ogre named Thunk. Thunk. Thunk grew up in a place called Dire Mall, but he wasn't popular with the other ogres. When they were off killing humans, Thunk was eating turkey. When they were off killing more humans, Thunk was writing poetry. Me saw a little birdie that had a pretty head. Me came up fast and sat on him, and now that bird is dead. And eating more turkey. Rejected by his ogre brethren, Thunk one day took up all his belongings and went out into the great wide world to seek his fortune. The nights were long, hard, and grueling. When it wasn't raining, it was hailing. When it wasn't hailing, it was raining. And when it wasn't raining or hailing, it was doing something else. One night, as Thunk lay down by his fire, he was approached by a stranger in the dark. Who's there? Please, I've been wandering the wasteland for days. Can you spare any food? I, I feel faint. Oh. Well, me only have enough food for- <sighs> Despite Thunk's meager resources, he nursed the ailing elf back to health. He caught wild turkey, boar, and lamb, pulled them to pieces, and boiled them together in the same pot. The broth was savory and strengthening, and after many days, the elf regained consciousness. I, I don't even know you, and yet you saved my life. Can I call you friend? Sure! Oh, me so happy! Me finally found friend. Here, eat this. Mm. Wait, what is this? Me call it intestine medley. It very tasty. You mean you've been feeding me meat this whole time? Oh yes, me only give friends the best. But I've lived my entire life until now without devouring the flesh of a living creature. Eating an animal is violent. And I hate violence. I'll kill you. Hey, stop screaming! Sound can't travel through the vacuum of space. Yeah, stop insulting people's intelligence. Thunk was very sad to see his only friend go. He was as sad as a confused treasure hunter who answered an ad on Craigslist titled, Come find the end to my rainbow. But Thunk was filled with ambition, and he refused to remain sad for long. He decided to carve out a living for himself by opening a soup kitchen. He traveled to Orgrimmar, where he heard that they gave out free money to underprivileged monsters. Hi! Me want to open soup shop. Ah, well, you've come to the right place. You see, we orcs have spent our entire lives killing monsters for epic loot and XP, and we feel bad. We admit we were bigots, and we are very sorry. In order to make amends, we are giving away free money to all monsters. Yay! Free money! So, what monster are you? Me thunk. Me ogre. 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 Nope, sorry, you aren't classified as a monster. No free money for you. But me have horn. On head. Yeah, but you're bipedal, see, which is just too conventional. Based on your body type, I'm afraid you're disqualified. And we can't give free money to someone who doesn't qualify. We don't want to look like bigots. Now move along, ogre, you're blocking the street. Poor Thunk was hurt and confused. Like all ogres, Thunk had a hard time controlling his temper, and he responded the only way he knew how. He released a floater in Ogremar's fishing hole. He was banned from the city and told never to return. He made his way south to the goblin city of Gadgetzen in search of a good job. When he arrived, he just stood and stared, amazed at all the moving gears and flying contraptions. Whoa! Hey there, big fella! What are you doing in these parts? Me thunk. Me look for work. Ah, looking for a job, eh? I might be able to help you out. I am a gnomish engineer, and I am world famous for my splendid machines. I'm the one who made the diversity robots. Diversity, 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 diversity. diversity. Will you two shut up? Racist, 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 racist. <laughs> Anyhow, my tools are too big and bulky for me to carry. I need a strong brute like you to carry them for me. I'll pay you five gold a day. Oh, thank the great slug. Now Thunk never go hungry again. Uh, thank the slug? Oh, yes, the slug is Thunk's great ancestor. 
before ogres, there was great slug. Slug ate slime and sludge until slug got really fat. Then slug oozed first ogres out its pores. All ogres descend from first ogres, and so we give thanks to great slug. Wow, I should have known that you would have been a bumbling simpleton. It's all about industry, progress, and machines now. It's obvious that your feeble mind hasn't advanced beyond bashing things with sticks. Get out of here. Your superstitious reasoning will just hold me back. I have no use for you. Now, any rational man would take such abuse and go his merry way. But Thunk was an ogre, and in truth, he did have a penchant for bashing things with sticks. Which is just what he did. Thunk was cast out of Gadgetzan, and he walked off into the shimmering flats, alone. The night grew cold, and Thunk was lonely. He was as lonely as something that gets really lonely. After a while, Thunk spied what looked like a campfire in the distance. He was wary after his previous encounters, and approached the fire with as much stealth as his race possessed. So, yesterday, I bumped into an elf in Shatrat who is polishing his own ears. He looked at me, said something obscene, and then asked me where I got me ugly face. Know what I said to him? No, what? I said... Your mom! <laughs> ah, that was a good one. But let's now see flame now, buddy. I need to get some sleep. I have a big day tomorrow. Oh, wait. With your mom! <laughs> oh, your mom, you got me. Seriously, though, guys, I need some advice. I just came from Durotar and I lost all my money. See, I met this lady in the Barrens and she spent it all. Oh, who is she? Her name was Janet. Oh. Yeah. So then she ran off and I never saw her again. I hitched a ride with this other lady who brought me down here. Spent a week with her. Whew. She was a kick. Really? Who is she? Uh, her name was Beatrice. Oh. But she ran off and now I'm stuck here with nothing but the shirt on my back. My question is, should I be responsible and get a job to better myself? Or should I move in with this floozy I know? Who's the floozy? She's your mom! (laughs) 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 What is this? Looks like Ogremar lost one of their zeppelins. Me thunk. Can thunk sit by fire? Sure thing, thunk. Blob your big butt down here at us. Want some food? Oh, thanks! How about some ale? Oh, Thunk Happy! Thunk, huh? Funny name there, son. How'd you get it? The mommy named Thunk for sound he make when he fell out of mommy's belly. Ja, <laughs> that's just frightening. Wanna know what's even more frightening? What's that? Your mom! <laughs> Thunk made friends with the most accepting people he knew, vulgar trolls who picked on him every day. And for the first time in his life, he was happy. Welcome to Oxhorn's Lessons on Music. Now, I have covered a number of musical blights in the past. Screamo, rap, Eurovision. But today I will be tackling one of the most evil forms of music ever conceived by man. J-pop. J-pop is Japanese music inspired by English popular rock. Uh, You can tell J-pop from many other forms of Japanese music because the songs inexplicably throw in random English phrases that are often botched English idioms. For example, the phrase, Have you fallen head over heels in love? Translated into J-pop equals, Have your love heels fallen over head? In order to be a J-pop superstar, you have to be a 16-year-old Japanese girl pretending to be a 6-year-old Japanese girl. You wear bright and often revealing clothing, but behave in an adolescent manner reminiscent of a toddler discovering candy for the first time. You dance around on stage like a robot, and then start doing a sleazy pole dance or fake striptease, which I'm sure has been the cause of much sexual confusion for any number of Japanese men. Most importantly, you have to sing in a high-pitched, cutesy manner, complete with random squeaks and squeals. So then, this is Oxhorn's attempt at singing J-pop. <clears throat> okay, channeling 16-year-old Japanese girl pretending to be a toddler. Let's see. <clears throat> <coughs> Shiki, Shiha, Nata, 